Hey everyone, this is just a quick video to show you that you can hide your main PC's Windows startup screen. It's very quick and much easier than I thought. There is a risk doing this. It could go wrong and it could cause your computer to have trouble or need a reformatting. To be safe, I did test it by doing it on another PC that I use for risky projects that I don't really have anything important on and I can just wipe it out and reformat it if something goes wrong. I had no issues doing this, but please do this at your own risk. I won't be able to help you fix your PC if something does go wrong. I started by getting the software that will swap out the images. I'll leave a link to the software in the description below. I installed the software, which was very quick and easy. You can use a static image or animation file. I grabbed this Killer Instinct logo by searching Killer Instinct PNG. I then navigated to where I saved the file, selected it. By clicking the Message 2 box, I changed the text below the image to say Loading. Then I click Apply, which changes the files. Don't mess with anything while this is running. It takes just a few seconds and it's less likely to cause a problem if you don't mess with anything else. After that, I shut down the PC, started it up again to make sure it worked. If everything works correctly, that's it, you've done it. It's very quick and easy. Another quick tip for this video is, I hid my Windows 7 taskbar. The reason for that is, when the computer's starting up, it shows the desktop for a good maybe 10-15 seconds while it boots into Maximus Arcade. So in order to make the arcade look a little bit more like an arcade and less like a computer, I right clicked on the taskbar, went to properties, and then checked the box that says auto hide taskbar. I also made this custom desktop image, which looks like a loading screen. It's not super professional, but you're only gonna see it for like I said, maybe 10 seconds, and that's if you're standing around watching it boot up. There are still some Windows loading screens that I haven't been able to remove. It looks like the only way to do that is really risky and you could mess something up. So I think I'll leave that alone for now. Hopefully these simple tips helped you. If so, please click the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.